Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I curl my hair, how I get the bouncy look, and also how I like do my hair, how I do an updo. So let's get moving. I just got out of the shower, but I'm gonna comb it real quick. So these hairstyles that I'm going to do, I've learned how to do them over the two years. A lot of people always ask me like, oh, how do you curl your hair? How do you get it to look like bouncy and stuff? Now that I've combed my hair, this is the one I use. I'll make sure I link it down below. It's the Strength and Silk Coconut Heat Protection Spray with Silk. And the reason I like this is because it leaves your hair soft, but it doesn't get oily. You know how sometimes you wear certain heat protected and it makes your hair like all oily and stuff? Yeah, this one doesn't really, that's what I like about it. So let me just spray some. I usually just kind of spray some to my end a little bit. This is how it ends up looking after I put it on. I'm going to blow dry my hair before I curl it, but the blow dryer I use is this one. Watch. Thank you for holding. How can I help you? Okay, this is the blow dryer that I use. It's not really a blow dryer. It's more like a blow... Oh, it's a blow dryer, but it's... It's a brush. It's like a brush, but it's a blow dryer at the same time. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen it everywhere, but I really love this brand. It's Lange? Lange? Lange or Lange? But I've been using this for a long time, over two years now. My mother-in-law was sweet enough to get me this for my birthday. And this is the one, and it comes in pink, which is so cute. I also have the straightener. I'll make sure that I link it down below. Oh, connected down here. The connection's down here. My hair is like everywhere. I have really thick hair, so it takes me a long time to blow dry my hair with like a blow dryer. But with this one, I love it because it brushes it and it blow dries it at the same time. Clearly, I have, don't mind me. This is literally all my hair, guys. That's gross. Look at this. Guys, we all have this where it gets stuck on your hair. You guys are like, yeah, what is that? So this is it. And usually, I always put it in high just because I, oh, because I don't have time to be going low. So usually, I just go it like this, and then I brush it as I go. I'm pretty sure you can hear me. I'm not sure if you can. to my hair it results in looking like this and guys it literally gets your hair like dry quick like i'm not even making that up like usually i have a lot of hair i have a lot of hair so i always have a hard time either curling it or drying it because it like takes me such a long time but with that one it doesn't take me such a long time it blow dries it fast it's not really hard to use um and also this this is the conair 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 or conair yeah this is the conair curling iron guys let me tell you guys my mom and i used to go thrifting when i was little and we still do but we used to go to yard sales when we would go to yard sales we would always find these and this is such a good brand it's been around for so many years as long as i can remember and this is for curling iron this is the only brand that i have and that i have used it lasts you so long like you can have a curling iron and it'll last you like 10 years not even kidding if you own one of these you know what i'm talking about and i love this one because it's like thick it gets my curls to be big and bouncy and everything so that's what i like about this one i'll make sure i link it down below as well and let me turn this on so what I do here is that I part my hair either halfway or the other way. And this is what I basically do. So here I grab, I always use this hand, this um, part of my arm. And I part it like this. I part it like this. And then, okay, this part, I take it up. All I do is I put it, okay, that looks a little off. Man, what is this? I probably look pretty crazy, huh, guys? Okay. So clearly I missed the hair, but I really don't want to like put it up and stuff. This is how I did it. Super cute. I might just go out like this. I'm just kidding, guys. But now that it's hot, this is what I do. I do one curl in and one curl out. I go like this. 
And then this curl is going to be away from my face. So this is what I do. I curl it like this. And I just curl the ends just because I don't want to, like, get it too close, too far up. And then I just wait a little bit. After that, I just, like, let it down. And then I grab it. Grab this part like this. And then I, like, hold it for, like five seconds or 10 seconds. I just hold it there and then I get the next hair and then I do that one forward. So I get this one, let me see. And then usually I kind of like can feel it. I can feel if it's, okay, this one's gonna be the other way. So I did this one forward. So this one goes like this and I'm like I said, I'm just doing the ends. <laughs> Okay, after, I just let it down, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to just grab it like this, and then I have this hair left over. So usually what I do, because it's a little more easier for me, I push this back, and then I continue the same routine with my back hair, and then I grab this with this, and then I do this one like this, and let me see. I know he can't see this. Usually I have a mirror showing me like what I do and I don't really have one so you guys have to help me out okay okay there we go so usually the curls that are in front of your face are away from your face like you curl it away from your face the curls that like are in the front and then the back ones you just like curl them towards your face if that makes sense now I hold it for a little bit okay now it's this one and this one like I said this one's gonna be away from the face <laughs> It looks like this. It looks a little crazy, but trust the process. I'm going to put that back now. And now for this part, I'm going to put this forward like this. I don't want to get my hair the same, like, messed up and stuff. Okay, so I part it. I'm going to part this, okay? To this side, this way, because clearly, like, I can't part it both sides. So let me just... It might look a little crazy, guys. Let me see. Now what I do here is that I hold this one part either this side or the other side so my the bottom here is curly the one that is on that side but this part i don't want it to get mixed up with the curls so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put this part up with the hair clip that i have look and then what i do here is that i just continue the same routine i can like kind of feel it but i can't feel it that much let me look at the mirror because guys it can it can sometimes get a little tricky when i'm holding it all together just because some hairs go out and some hairs go in so i have to make sure that the curling iron gets all of my hair This is, is this supposed to be the full with the front hair? So like this. And as you can tell, I missed a hair. I know I'll get it right now. And I'm gonna just wait and I'm almost gonna be done. I'm so used to like having two arms. Like, okay, I've adapted to only having one arm, but when I used to have two arms, I would like have my phone on one hand and then I would be curling my hair with the other one. So sometimes I forget and I'll like reach over and then I'll like, I won't forget that I don't have an arm, but I'll like, I think that I can do both things. I, I'm always like, you know what? I can still do both things. So I try to go like this and then answer the phone. I'm like, ma'am, you can't be doing that. You're gonna burn your mouth. And I did, last week I burned my mouth curling my hair because I was like, I can do it and I really couldn't. 
but sometimes I can sometimes I can hold it like this like I can hold it like this and I can be on my phone but if I'm trying to answer the phone it's a little tricky and that's what I was trying to do answer the phone and I ended up burning myself there we go so it curled no ow, 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 ow. let me just wait a little bit because it burns okay now I just hold it I can even like pin it like this it's the whole hair on this side you see how I missed all of this like, what is going on man okay i'm gonna go like this and i'm gonna curl it backwards okay looks make sure i didn't miss any you know what i did miss some this right here is like not it you guys see it i missed it <laughs> soft my hair looks i honestly love wearing this um this one i'll link it down below i love it because it leaves your hair like soft nice and silk you know when you don't wash your hair for like five days and it's like super oily i hate when that happens when i'm like when i curl my hair and it either feels really hard or it feels really oily so with that one i like it because it just leaves your hair soft and good like it's good not oily it just leaves it soft and usually i either leave it like this or i can always just do it like in the middle and then the middle would look like this. This is a very popular hairstyle. And I just started doing this um, like for two years now. But this is what I do. I get my claw clip. So this is the claw clip that I'm going to use. I don't know how it looks. But this is what I do. I twist it. You see how I'm twisting it? I twist it. I twist it. I twist it. And then I put it up like this. And then I use this. And I put it on the bottom. So I put it on the bottom. I'm pretty sure you can see. Let me show you. I want to show you like good. Okay. So I put it from the bottom. I clip it like that and then it falls and I have to make sure it clips I have thick hair I really like these I'll make sure I link these too if you guys want to know where I got these from but I like this claw clip because it gets my hair good like it doesn't break it doesn't fall down and as you can tell I have really thick hair another hairstyle that I do is that okay my hair looks like this right now what I do is that I grab this strand here and I grab this strand and usually with the smaller one I don't have a smaller one but let's act like this is a smaller one I usually just grab the two like this, like this, and I make sure that I get my hair because sometimes it, it can be a little hard. And look, it looks like this from the back. Let me show you how it looks from the back. It looks like this from the back. It's like on there good. I can also tie my hair in a bun and everything. Like usually with the same hairstyle, I can like tie my hair in a bun. All I usually do is that I go like this, I twist it. I don't want to undo my curls. I twist it and I go like this. And I get a hair tie and then I just like wrap it around and everything. So that's usually how I do all those hairstyles. I'm going on a date with my fiance so I do have to change and I do have to get ready. But thank you so much for watching this. Make sure to like and subscribe so I can continue doing videos like this.